Hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of EPM Gravitas Hardcore and well welcome back to the new version of uh, EPM Gravitas I had to actually re-record this bit because of the fact that uh, when I recorded the first time I had an issue with the microphone so you'll probably notice that bit is actually um, without the microphone. I do not know what's going on uh, wrong about the, the bloody thing, but yeah. Uh, there was a bunch of stuff in the previous um, versions of the game where you could get a bucket from the nether. So the first bit of the of uh, the episode was me exploring the nether and then finding in the nether I think that the the structures are still there so you'll probably uh, still see them but the easiest way to see them is by actually checking for the um how do you call it? For these bits. So, all of these structures, if you actually went to the nether, all of these structures are still in there. So, these ones, right? So, that one, if you check and it says nether bricks and also red nether bricks. This one is like the Pyramid Temple from uh, uh, the Jungle Temple, you know, like the, the Jungle Temple thing. And inside you will find a bunch of uh, booby traps where uh, if, you, if you set them off you will be covered with lava. Thing is, I kind of knew about it and I also knew how to... How to properly disarm them and properly get the uh, lava buckets from there which meant that I made myself a lava sigil as well as a um, water sigil. So for all intents and purposes I think I actually jumped ahead a little bit more than I should have jumped. Uh, but I'm not gonna roll back the whole save before that because mainly because actually I didn't have a, a, a backup from before and also uh, yeah I I don't feel that's actually um, yeah I, I, I will do it anyway I will do it the normal way anyway uh, but yeah so probably that's going to be a thing. Um, what else? Uh, I should have actually not used these. Uh, what else have I done? I have done a pull request and uh, I introduced storage drawers. And then you can actually see them here. This pull request will probably not get into the uh, main game immediately, but I have actually already um, finished the work and uh, these are, are uh, in. The, uh, they are with this recipe. Uh, this one is actually uh, requiring that and uh, a bunch of those and then the normal ones require a bismuth bronze nugget this particular thing did not exist so I had to actually add the the nugget item in in the game so that took a while to to, to work um, I've also done a few other things I've also uh, done something more so if you check here brass mechanisms uh, they are now uh, able to be made by metal press uh, through the gear because I couldn't actually think about anything better 
and by compacting uh, in, in this manner I thought that this kind of makes a little bit of sense so this this is what I've been able to, to come up with I think it's good enough as a, as a recipe uh, in order to because otherwise like these these things required you to, to make them on the anvil and that was the only way to get them done and and with all due respect is just it, it, it was a bit a bit much so that uh, changed and probably what I'm gonna do is get started with a little bit of uh, the immersive i've already added all the recipes that i want to get uh, done immediately i've started to to make the copper wire and whatnot and um, yeah but anyway i will show you guys now the footage that i have uh, recorded for uh, the getting of the buckets and whatnot and then we will go, come back to, to the normal world and we will continue the episode from there. Probably I'll get, uh, oh, uh, I'll, I'll get the, the create finished as well. And uh, yeah, so yeah, this is, this is kind of it. So sorry for the, for the uh, mumbo jumbo kind of um, episode starting and everything. Uh, it is what it is. have a lava crystal might as well just make the wig activation and then open a ritual get the towel
and we'll go from there in all honesty just yeah oh by the way i just realized that i have these oak seeds and i had for a while the moss and you can actually make this and that's minecraft oak for what it's worth i don't know all right so inscription divination all right let's see inscription tool air 1000 with gostier inscription tool fire magma cream All we need to do this to get a bunch more blood in here. and diamonds all right so we are going to make lava sigil found it obviously and i think it was a blank slate somewhere around here there we go and that's it We have a lava sigil. Yay! And uh, arcane ashes. I'm pretty sure this one is also with a blank room as well. Yep. What other sigil do I want? Teleposition sigil. Ah. Teleposer. <laughs> Obviously, it can't do that. Eh? That would be too overpowered, right? Okay, have I done something today? Okay, so here's we we have this thing done. And I th think is actually awesome because it's a good way to get quite a bunch of power for free and non-stop. And I finally found Garnierite here, here. I think it's actually pretty deep because, well, because I can't read it, but like Garnierite and then it's Nickel.
Is there any other reading I could get? Or anything I could get about it? Ah, shit. So this is not going to be fun to search for it, huh? Okay, let's read here. No, no, no. I'll have to check. Alrighty, guys. So, we have a ritual diviner and the master ritual stone and i think enough ritual stones that i could just make myself the edge of the hidden realm i think that's it right pretty sure that's it weak activation crystal Two iron keys, a bunch of horse armor. Don't care for anything else. There's a whole lot of blood around here. I'm gonna open this one. I have a very bad feeling about this. This is a normal chest, okay. Oh, tau fruit and a lot of books. Wither skeleton, no way. Oh my. This is good. This is amazing, in fact. So north. Let's open south. Minecraft town builds. Thank you very much. Smithing table. Furnace. Furnace. <laughs> End blast furnace. Oh. So the furnace doesn't do anything. Fine. Diamond. Iron sword.
Oh, I had a bunch of runes over here in this room. And uh, it seems like I was able to recoup every single thing. And probably I have a little bit over. So I have 42 now. And that's also, I have a, a master stone. So that's actually enough to make another one of these. Probably I'm gonna make one of these again, right? So why not? I'm gonna put this guy over here. I'm gonna put like that. Forty-five, ninety-four. All right, I think that's actually done. And then I have ninety-four thousand. So that's actually more than eighty thousand, which means that I could just do it like this. And I have 14,000 left. Okay, I, I have to kill a few mobs. Anyway, guys. Uh, I think this kind of concludes what I've uh, done in this episode. And uh, probably I'll do the rest in the next one. Uh, I think I've done a whole bunch. So let me show you what I've done here. I have made a little bit of a setup to cut wood, a little bit of a setup to, to roll metals and all that kind of jazz. I have prepared a little bit of a depot um, with lava and I can replace the lava with water or with uh haunting so to, to do haunting recipes and so on so i have everything i need to get started with the rest of the stuff uh so yeah uh i think i'm all right right now to get uh so i also have yes i also have found uh, bismuth over here, nickel, and I have 64 plus 15. Uh, I completed four stacks of 64 uh, copper, and yeah, I think that I can I can actually do um, immersive. I already prepared everything. I'm gonna have for the next episode. I'm gonna have uh, the the tier four altar, and probably get a bunch more capacity rooms and so on. And uh, we will probably go from there. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting and like, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have fun. Pufferfish out.